Hey, welcome back to the show. And today I'm going to talk about camera loading. I'm going to load some film into this Yashica mat that I have over here. So let's get started. First thing when you have a TLR, most of them have a little plate in the bottom, which you turn towards the O to open or towards with a C to close. This will release this little lever that hooks onto a little knob there and prevents it from opening. So we just turn it towards the O and as you can see it moves and opens the camera. Now the camera is open. You can place it on a table or on your lap. As you can see this camera will only take 120 film. So you have your empty space here is where your old spool will go, your empty one. And then you have the empty spool that's here from last time. So this we just have to pull this little knob out and that will disengage the spool. We pull it out. This is hard to do with one hand. There we go. So that's loose. This is the spool. It has a little slit in the middle. That's where your film will feed into. And it, when it starts turning, it'll lock it in there. So now I will open this little knob here. As I told you, it has a little cut there. and also has it here, as you can see. So all we have to do is align that, pull this out, align that, pull this out, push it back in. Once it's in, you can feel it's not gonna move anywhere. So that's ready. As you can see, when I start winding, that's the one that turns. That's the way you know which one is supposed to be the empty one. The film will go from being in here, going all the way into that one. So now let's open our film, open the little box, open the wrapper. This here says unexposed. So we know that this film hasn't been shot yet. So we peel this paper off, leave no bits and pieces there so it won't get into the camera. Then we can turn the camera around. This back paper, it has a white side, which is the one you should see, and the black side, which is where the film is. So that's the way we load it. Keep it with some tension while you put it in. So you basically put it in this knob, pull this other knob on the side out, and it comes back in. Now your film's there. So this film has to go over this, not under. So it just goes over into the little slit on the other empty spool. Now let's start pulling it back, turning it around. You kind of have to help it go in properly because it will feed the wrong way and you don't want that because it'll have light leaks on the corner. So you have it there, you hold it, hold both sides of the film and you just start turning. When you see the arrow aligned with these two little red arrows, that means the film is ready, you can close the back and you can advance the film. So let's just turn it till we see that. Just keep some tension. I'm gonna keep the tension on the full roll. The empty roll is already tensioned enough. You see the arrow is coming out now. And that would be it. So that's ready. Now it's as easy as just closing the back. You gotta apply a little pressure, so just hold some pressure and turn it towards the C, which is close. You turn it and that comes back and engages that little knob. Now this is ready, but we still have to advance to the first frame. Here's a frame counter and this is the rewind crank. So now we just turn it till it stops on its own. Once it stops, we turn it anti-clockwise put it back into this little hole, which just keeps it nice and flat. Now we're ready to shoot. There's no other thing you need to do except for in this camera, we do have a little ISO or ASA indicator. So we just move these little two knobs till we see the speed. This is HP5 400 film, and I'm gonna probably shoot at 400. So let's just push this at 160, 200, 400 speed. So that will be your indicator. This doesn't have a light meter, so that's all you need to do, just as a reminder. And now we would be ready to shoot. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next week on Wednesday.